Hello, I'm Bethany Schwichtenberg, and this is the Hawthorne Video Active Report. You've heard of product placement, but what about behavior placement? Well, if you've been watching NBC lately, you may have already witnessed the phenomenon. Did you catch Al Gore's guest appearance on 30 Rock? What about the Office episode in which Dwight becomes a recycling-obsessed superhero? Notice the green theme? This is behavior placement, a process which writers insert socially responsible plot lines to sway viewer actions. The goal is to sell ads to companies who want to associate their brands with socially aware shows. This year, NBC outlets will feature 100 hours of green theme programming starting this month. For an example of NBC's behavior placement, check out Tap Screen 2. With the recent release of the iPad comes the introduction of the iAd. Last week, Apple unveiled its new advertising format for iPads and iPhones. The iAd uses rich media to deliver mobile advertisements and will become available on the iPad this fall. Apple also introduced its new revenue sharing model. Under the new plan, developers will receive 60% of advertising revenue. That could really add up since users spend an average of 30 minutes per day interacting with an app. With one ad every three minutes, that adds up to about one billion ad impressions per day. As Apple enters the mobile-rich media industry, you can expect mobile ads to receive a lot of attention in the coming year. To see a demonstration of the iAd, see Top Screen 3. Would you rather give up your television or internet? Well, according to a new report, if you responded your television, you're not alone. For the first time, the Internet has surpassed TV as the most essential medium. When asked whether they would rather never watch television again or never access the Internet again, the slight majority of respondents chose to trash their TVs. Just a year ago, only 26% said that they would eliminate television. Luckily, consumers don't have to make this choice. To accommodate these shifting preferences, estimates show that almost 100 million Internet-connected TVs will be shipped in 2013. It's a CEO's worst nightmare, an employee strike causing almost all operations to come to a standstill. Well, social media can help. British Airways found this to be true when strikes grounded its UK flights last month. In response to the crisis, British Airways managed the damage via YouTube. The airline published a series of videos to the site that apologized to customers for the inconvenience and updated them on the situation. The videos generated over 100,000 hits on YouTube and improved perceptions of the airline for almost 20% of viewers. Social media reaches 77% of UK's online population, making it the perfect medium to use in a crisis. To see one of British Airways crisis management videos, check out Top Screen 4. For Hawthorne Direct, I'm Bethany Schwichtenberg.